food and water are important. We just... We tried bringing in another supply train back in the day. Damn thing fell the fuck apart while crossing a bridge. Most people are too chicken shit to grapple their way up in there. But I reckon there's still some good shit left. Working my ass off here, but it feels worth it. Healthy looking dog. Yes, sir. We're ready to fly. Okay, so here's how we do this. The highwaymen set up strongholds wherever they collect rare resources. We'll fly in, and I'll drop you close by. Now you need to find and grab this package. It's marked by pink smoke, but beware. The package has a GPS transmitter. So once you grab it and start moving, it won't be long before the highwaymen come after you. I'll radio you an extraction point and bring the chopper around to get you. Talk to me when you're ready to go. Me? Haha, <laughs> I'm ready yesterday. like the one in Top Gun. about this the right way. We'll have a place to call home in no time. You like the beach? Me too. Thanks to you for getting me the fuel. Now you, me, la grosse patate, we're gonna get back to doing what we do best. Pissing off highwaymen and stealing their resources. So listen to this. The highwaymen found a crashed aircraft carrier and are used... Viens ici, Carlis. You ready? I got the info on our first big score. As I was saying, so listen to this. The highwaymen found a crashed aircraft carrier and are using it to hide supplies. They thought they could keep that a secret, huh? <laughs> no, not from Roger. Whatever they found has to be good for us, too. So what do you say we pay them a visit? Maybe take a stroll on the beach after we rip them off? <laughs> no, just a joke. The, the highwaymen would be pissed off and we need to get the fuck out of there quick. So, ça tente tu I wish Capot.
Once you get the package, I'll tell you where to meet. Oh wait, go get them, Tiger. That was a 
a close call, man. You're one crazy <clears throat> son of a gun, you know that? Glad you're on our side. That was a close one, huh? Oh, we got those fuckers. <laughs> a steep job. Okay, back to normal. One thing about the highwaymen. Once they're exposed, they always come back stronger. I've seen it. So, if you ever want to rob a stronghold again, we can. But they'll do everything in their power to make it harder for us. Or there's a new stronghold we can go to. Check, sir. Highwaymen are controlling the only bridge that's still standing over the canyons to the southwest. They wait for people to cross the bridge and then BAM! They do an ambush and take all the stuff. In French, we call that so far fourré. A real greaseball shit. So you wanna know the plan? <laughs> There's no fucking plan, okay? We take from them like they take from the others and that's it. Merci, bonsoir, Rusty. So you tell me. We go back to the warship, or you, me, la grosse patate, we go to Navajo Bridge? Laquelle tu veux? There's a barn over yonder where the highwaymen paint their cars. I hear their artists got a nice cash squared away there, too. You know, in case that kind of thing might interest an enterprising person like yourself. With the right people and the right spirit, we can have something special here. Whenever I built up settlements back west, I always made sure to bring the right people together to do the job. Because it's specialists that'll take all of this to the next level. Without them, we can't move forward. But they got some things right about The highwaymen went and put a chop shop on top of an old ghost town. That place runs on ethanol that we could use for prosperity. Go fuck them up, Cap. Met the twins yet? They're trouble. If we want to get back to 20... This place is going to be the key.
Keeping up with your career, Cap. I'm optimistic. <laughs> We owe a lot to Pastor Jerome and Ramon. They're saving people from the highwaymen. Come to think of it, you and Jerome would make a hell of a team. Check up on them. They were at the old silo.
You're that outsider, huh? I'm not done talking. Nice work. Maybe we can help each other. Now then, you're that outsider, huh? Here the highwaymen are none too happy with you. Good. About time you young guns stepped up to the plate. Name's Grace. And if I wasn't blind as fuck, I'd be fighting right beside you. I might have lost a step or two, but I'm still putting my hands to good use. Once I realized I couldn't aim and shoot like I used to, I built a gun where none of that would matter. It's inspired by something you cooked up, actually. Only I made a few modifications. If I wasn't so modest, I'd say it was the best gun in Hope County. Only problem is the highwaymen stole it from me and took it to the old train yard. That's where they hoard all the goods they've been stealing from the people here. It won't be easy, but trust me, the risk is worth the reward. Go get the gun, steal back the supplies they took, and mow down any pinheads who get in your way.
Good, huh? You did good. Smack those highwaymen right in their mouths. Keep the gun. Like I said, my eyesight ain't what it used to be. Figure you'll get more use out of it than I will. And those supplies you collected, that stuff belonged to the people. Invest it back into the community. The folks in prosperity will make the best use out of whatever you can give them, me included. You heard right. I'm headed to prosperity for good. You and your friends ever need training? You come see me. Take care of yourself. Thank you. 